The villages with adobe walls and thatched roofs blend with the earth's profile and its fundamental colors. Village farmers sometimes extend their coffee or cocoa fields along the big roads. In the southern half of the country, the forest gives an immutable impression, but it has changed dramatically as a population of hunters and gatherers became farmers. They even began clearing parts of the forest for their fields and built villages to encircle them. But when the soil failed to be sufficiently productive, they abandoned the fields and moved on. The remaining wastelands were eventually reforested, but growth was irreparably stunted, which accounts for the Ivory Coast's very uneven landscape. The Man region is in the western Ivory Coast. It is a mountain region and offers much greener landscapes than the savanna. Man is the administrative capital of the Yakuba region, which borders on Guinea and Liberia. Its several hotels make it the point of departure for many visits to the region. The city of Man has the same charm as other small African towns lost in the middle of the jungle. The market and the bus station are the main attractions. Cab fare for excursions out of town must be firmly negotiated at the bus station. Iron and iron ore beds are one of the wealths of the region. Unfortunately, their exploitation is made difficult by the delicate economic situation of the country. Twelve and a half miles from the center of Man lies one of the highest mountains of the Ivory Coast, Mount Tokui. Its 4,000 foot summit is home to a television relay station. On a clear day, the view from Mount Tokui extends beyond the border of Guinea. The Tooth of Man is a rock peak overlooking the valley. It has a magnificent panoramic view of the many mountains circling the basin in which the city has developed. Twenty-eight miles from Man, Biancuma has the particularity of being separated into two distinct styles of dwellings. On one side, the village huts are covered in corrugated iron, in the old village, close to the hill on the edge of the forest, round huts with thatched roofs are sometimes decorated with yellow, brown, or black paintings on white backgrounds. These painted huts are unfortunately more rare. In Biancuma, you can mix with village women grinding millet. In the remote regions of the Ivory Coast, people are entirely self-sufficient, and women are in charge of nourishing the whole family on small means. The children participate in the family chores, like sorting the dried coffee. Coffee and cocoa are among the Ivory Coast's leading exports. <laughs> In the potter's quarter, one can admire the speed and skill of these women working in the shade of mango trees, tirelessly repeating the same precise gestures in order to make these pots, used as containers for daily use or sold at the market. Despite their deceptive simplicity, the pottery of each region has a singular shape. The women potters dig out geometrical forms in the fresh clay. Oh. 